When a good gardener plants a seed, he doesn't then ignore it. He goes ahead and furnishes it with water and food and sunlight so that the seed can produce new growth. And that new growth will become independent and self-sustaining. So it is with our gifts that we give during Lent. Almsgiving has a long and revered tradition both in the Hebrew and New Testament scriptures and in the Lenten tradition of the church. Our alms is derived from the ancient Greek word for compassion, and it includes not just money and food and other donations given to the poor and needy, but also the donation of our time and attention in service to others. In the Old Testament, there was a sense that sin was actually a kind of cargo you carried around with you. And then later on, it developed into a kind of debt that needed to be repaid. And that is how Jesus saw it. For in the Lord's Prayer, forgive us our trespasses is more correctly translated as forgive us our debts. In the Gospel according to Matthew, Jesus mentions giving alms in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you. In other words, there is a spiritual compensation for our financial or material generosity. Almsgiving at its best is not a handout. What we give for Lent changes lives. We are investing in others so that they too might flourish and become almsgivers themselves. Lent is giving so that others might flourish. <laughs>